Hello guys, welcome once again to Gaming Gent. Uh, we'll be doing at this very time, we'll be uh, making a full review or an in-depth guide on the War Mage, okay? So, uh, we are right now at the Debias headquarters uh, and I'll be here because I wanted to show you a couple of skills. So we'll start with a little overview on the War Mage. I'll be putting uh, a table of contents so you can skip uh, to whatever uh, part of this video that you want. Uh, so let's start. The War Mage uh, is uh, it's a DPS class mostly. Okay, it's the closest thing to a, to a, an assassin that this game has. Uh, but it's not your regular MMO RPG uh, assassin. It's not like you teleport and put a dagger on someone's ass and you kill him. Uh, it's not like that. But the twist that they gave here, I really like it. The War Mage is a guy that can. Uh, have two rows. It can have a staff, which is a two-handed weapon, and it will give you. You will gain if you wear a staff. You will gain 10% damage if you are away from the mouse. Uh, then uh, that, that you can see it here. You will get 10% more damage on targets that are eight meters or farther or farther away. Okay, but then if you use uh, like I am doing right now, if you use a uh, magic sword and a grimoire, which is basically a spell book. You will be getting the same bonus, but for being closer to them. Okay, so uh, it's a nice thing to have a, a, a maybe a mage that, that can fight. So it's it's a nice suit. I really like it. Uh, but still, it's it's a squishy class. It's not really uh, someone that can just go there and face the, the, and you know stand there and and uh, you know take hits uh, as you go. Uh, as you progress in the game, the harder content will not allow you to take more than one or two hits. Uh, so uh, the War Mage pretty much relies on his spells, which are not all damage, but they do have a lot of mobility and you have a lot of a uh, couple of inbuilt spells, you have a couple of shields. So you need to be uh, very uh, responsive to what the game is throwing at you. So it takes a little more, I'm not saying it takes more than the other classes, but it takes a little more skill to be a good war mage. You know, you have, you have to be able to teleport and touch damage and do a lot of things really, really fast, okay? So let's start with, this, with the soul box, because from there I believe it's easier. Uh, when you start the game, uh, you get uh, levels, uh, which is your regular level up, uh, which goes to 65. If you're not there yet, I recommend that you uh, every time that you that your soul levels up, you get one soul point. Okay, and uh, so if I am 168, I have 168 points to put in any of these trees. Okay, so if you're not 65, everything goes to XP because you, of course, you want to go there and be 65 as soon as you can, so you can unlock all the content in the game. Okay. So uh, when you get to 30, you will already be getting 5% more XP. So put everything there. Damage is enough for you to make the quest. Quests are easy. Do the purple ones. They do get you a lot of XP and they get contribution points, which you, which you will use later in the game. So uh, now that the basic stuff is out of the way, uh, I'll tell you what the, what the basic stats for the war mage are important. Okay, every war mage, uh, should have uh, priorities on some skills, of some stats, I'm sorry. In this case, critical rate is one of the most important uh, stats that you can get as a war mage. Why? Hold on, I have a little publicity here that I need to skip. There you go. Uh, as I was saying, you need to be able to uh, get your crit rate uh, as high as you can. The max is 30, 30%, but uh, the, the way to do it is not really easy. You, you can only have a crit, crit uh, rate in the gloves, and in the helmet, and in some other. No, you cannot get that easy. So I recommend that you start by putting soul points uh, on the crit rate. Okay? Now, after that, uh, the second most you, have, you can go two ways. When you press C, you can see your soul box. Okay? So, uh, you can just start with here. When you get to 30, you get uh, a Perseverance skill that will increase your crit rate by 20%. You have 20 uh, or less XP, 20%. That's not really important. What, what is important is that you get your crit rate up because 
the War Mage, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it takes a lot of mobility and you will get a lot of, uh, you need, I mean, most of your skills, that the damage ones, uh, they are uh, damage over time skills. That's why, that's why you go in, put some skill, go out, so they can crit. So that's why crit, crit rate is so important. Okay? After that, uh, you need to, you can go two ways. Some people uh, like to go for attack, which is of course, uh, the more attack that you have, the, the, the crit rates are calculated and get more damage. But there's the other way to go, which is go cooldown reduction. <clears throat> and I do recommend that you get cooldown reduction because it's, uh, it makes your life easier for every single mythic dungeon that you make, Lurie, and Fabris, Block Castle, etc. Uh, you need to be able to move quick and do things quickly and this helps out a lot, okay? Crit rate uh, maxes at 50%, okay? So when you get to 65 uh, and your soul points go, I don't know, 80 or 100, you should be able to uh, get your cooldown reduction and your crit rate uh, to max, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that you can, this is the max that you can get through equipment and through certain uh, buffs, but uh, then you have, uh, and we will talk about this later, you have skill crests, and skill crests will allow you to, uh, for example, in the hallucinatory infection, you can get uh, a 12% cooldown, which goes on top of the other one, so, it can be bent a little bit, okay? But coming back to the basics, uh, you need to be able to uh, hit, get your crit rate up and your cooldown reduction. Now, as you go up, uh, you will be able to, uh, when you get more and more levels, of course, you will be able to uh, get your crit rate, attack, crit, rate, crit damage, or if you're into PvP, you can go to penetration. But before you do that, uh, before you go cooldown or anything, it's a good idea if you are, it depends, if you have a guild or friends and you play a lot in, in dungeons, uh, you'll be alright doing this, but if you're not and may just do like to solo stuff, you need to get your uh, life or your health you to put 30 points in here. Why? Because you get this nice passive which uh, lets you lifesteal. 3% of your damage, so that's really, really good, especially because you're always kiting. I mean, you you put some skills in there, and then you, you run, wait for your cooldowns, put them again, and uh, you will be healing while you do so. So, this is really, really important. It will also help you when you are uh, low level to, to uh, you will get more survivability. So, uh, I do recommend that you, that you stick with that. I still have it, uh, because I do solo a lot, especially Wuha, so, um, of course, I do need that lifesteal, okay? So, there you go, there's not much to it, uh, it's just a cooldown, uh, crit rate, and then attack. After that, you can go crit critical ray, critical damage, etc. Do not waste your points on defense, or evasion, or bow important. Uh, do not waste soul points in that. There are, there are other ways that you can get your those stats up, okay? So there you go, that's that's for soul points and that takes us uh, immediately to uh, the equipment and what, what the, the war mage has available to him uh, to increase those stats. So this, uh, I believe this would be pretty much the top equipment that you could get uh, in, uh, for, some, uh, for the war mage. Now, there are some unique uh, items that you need to be looking out from the very start of the broker or if you get some, you need to get a hold of them. Uh, and those those items are, for example, the uh, magic, the Medallion Magic Association pants. Why are these pants so good and why, they're, why are they so expensive? It's because they have cool number actually. And the uh, pants are not supposed to do, to do that. Not this is the only set of pants that will give you this precious 5% cooldown, okay? So, if you find one, keep it. It doesn't matter if, you are, if, if the substats are not that good, uh, they will help you a lot, okay? And then, you're probably familiar with, the, with every piece of equipment, uh, but you need to be, uh, we are coming back to stats, what, what, the, what the important ones are. And uh, of course, crit rate. You can get crit rate on your gloves. You can get crit rate on uh, your helmet. Okay. 
you can get quick rate on your I'm um, sorry you can, later you will be able to get quick rate on your uh, shield or, I mean, I'm sorry on your uh, armor but that can only be done through soul stones and that's a very long way if you're a new player okay but the crit rate is really limited you can get it in weapons in both, in both of your weapons that's why everyone goes uh, uh one of the reasons why everyone is using a sword and then you can get it on your jewel okay uh so find the mix that goes best with your equipment and uh, but get your crit rate up okay right now i am not using uh, my my max because uh i am doing a lot of lupa and i am using this little shield that when i do it it goes to 30 percent uh so since i am doing lupa uh, i kind of find the mechanic to be able to have 30 every time i could even get some of my equipment out to be able there you go it, it lowers to 28. okay so those two are really important then through equipment you need to be able to uh get a lot of attack uh, because that's what you need and uh, then the, crit the critical damage will help you a lot as well okay so one thing uh, get try to get one thing that you need to be able to get is uh there's a ring called soul absorption ring soul absorption ring it's an it's an uh i believe it's uh what's the rate it's an ancient it's an ancient ring it's really cheap and it gives you eight percent soul xp every when you get to 65 everything is about soul xp you need to be able to farm your soul level because that will make your life easier okay so uh let's go uh, for example uh, for helmets you need to get crit rate you need to get critic uh, i'm sorry cooldown reduction and attack that's my proposition of course you can do any real that you want but uh, in order to make your uh, your character stronger at least uh, when you're up when you're already up there you can go ahead and try everything that is in the book you can go uh, I don't know, full evasion uh, or whatever you like. But if you want to be useful, you want to be able to clear content uh, quickly, I suggest that you do this. Okay? So, crit rate, cooldown, and attack on your uh, on your helmet. Okay? There are two pieces of equipment that are unique to the War Mage. There are the, the Ruler of Garuda uh, helmet. I believe I have one here. And uh, it has, when you see these red dots, it means that they are pretty predefined. Every ruler of a Garuda tribe helmet has these two, okay? So, uh, then you can put great rate on it or whatever else you're needing. Uh, I do use the other one because I do need the cooldown reduction and the crit rate, okay? So, that's what you need to, to, to be looking at. Okay, then uh, if you go to the shield, to the uh, shoulders, uh, you will need to be looking at especially attack and cooldown reduction okay this is all pve okay we'll be uh, probably setting up uh, talking about pvp uh, at the end of this uh, of this guide but i believe that everyone is that is here is here because they want to be able to clear the stuff faster in the game okay so you have limited options here um there is this uh, let me see what my shoulders are okay you can start by this one with this one, which is the regular Dragon Hunter, uh, Dragon Hunter uh, shoulder cover, and you should look once again for cooldown in attack. Okay. Uh, the other one you could go HP, you could go a page, uh, you could go uh, reduction, uh, MP reduction, whatever you like, accuracy for MP. But the important stats are cooldown reduction and attack. Okay. Uh, then there is this unique one, which is called uh, the Lost Magic Shoulder Cover, that is unique because it gives you a lot more uh, of attack. So, 135 versus uh, 90, which is the, the max that you can get, it's quite a boost. Okay, so cooldown and attack. Then, uh, if we're talking gloves, you need to go to... Uh, the Warmish doesn't have a specific, uh, class-specific mythic gloves, so you need to go for the Dragon Hunters and of course crit rate crit damage and attack okay in case you're wondering uh attack speed is not important it is important but it's not really important compared to the other ones so don't 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 waste away on attack speed just because we're doing a lot of uh, damage over time speeds okay so crit rate crit damage and attack this is really important they are kind of hard to get so 
Do not hesitate to get a cheap one that doesn't have maybe 4.88, it can have 3.6, but it will help you, uh, it will increase your DPS a lot, okay? After that, you have the pants, and pants are not really that great because uh, they're not that flashy, sort of speaking, because uh, you can get evasion, you can get attack, but you cannot get cooldown and you cannot get um, crit rate on the pants. So this is a piece of equipment that could be easier to get. You have the Lost Mage, the Lost Mage uh, pants and you have the Medaya Magic Association pants which are the best uh, best in slot. Uh, but uh, look for attack and then the rest is up to you. You can go damage reduction, you can go evasion. It doesn't matter. But you need to have attack in everyone and then if you get to if we can manage to get a hold of the Medaya Magic Association pants, go for them because those five percent that five percent reduction is clutch. Then uh shoes uh this one's are a little big so let me see if I have I have another one here. Uh, there you go. Okay so shoes uh, and I I'll probably let me see if I can wear this so I can show them to you there. You have uh, the regular Dragon Hunters and you should be looking for cooldown, attack and then you can go movement speed or whatever else you like. But cooldown is really important in attack, it, it's important as well. You have two sets, two uh, predetermined ones. There's the Medaya Boots that gives you uh, a boost in your HP, I believe it's 10%. And uh, they, they, they will also have a predetermined 10% running speed. Which is nice, especially since you're carrying a lot. But the, the the big one or the great one that you need to have are the dragon hide shoes, the sealed dragon hide shoes. Why? Because they have 135 times. Then you just roll for the cool one and you're set to go. Okay. Right now I am using um, a different ones. I'm using the raging fabric shoes because they give me uh, they give me a boost to to. To the what's the name of it? I'm sorry. To my blood pets, my blood pets. I can I I can really get abused it. So I'm using that. Okay. Then uh, for your sword, you need to go dragon hunter. S same as the as the gloves, you need to go crit rate, crit damage, attack. Okay. If you don't, you can also get away with the sealed magic sword, which gives a lot of uh, damage or attack. So you can go there too. For Grimoire, it's the same thing, crit, crit rate, crit damage, and attack, okay? Those stats will allow you to, to get here and to get here, okay? Then for Jewelry, uh, like I said, go for the Soul Absorption uh, uh, Ring, after that try to get the Lost Dragon because it will help you level up faster, okay? And uh, of course look for cooldown, look for attack, and uh, whatever else you, you'll be getting a hang, getting hang of it really really fast <clears throat> then for um, for necklaces you have well this is the, like the best for farming uh, which is the dragon slaughterer's necklace but uh, you could go and you need to try to get a hold of the wyvern soul which is uh, really good because it also gives you uh, a 10% boost on your soul XP okay and then uh, same you need to go for attack and uh, you, you'll be getting the idea very soon I'm sorry. And then uh, for the mythic earrings, uh, the same thing. You have the lost dragon eye, which will help you kill elites and bosses faster. But you can go anything. Then it's just uh, whatever you need. Of course, uh, after you get uh, to kind of mid to end game, you will be able to craft uh, these stones. I don't know if you can see it, but they're in the description. <clears throat> you will see that there is a stone that gives me cooldown reduction and gives me a bonus to one of my skills. You can craft them, there is another video on that. Uh, but uh, you, when you are, uh, when you start to get your last items, I mean the items that you know that will last on you, uh, you need to start uh, equipping these uh, soul stones because they are great. There is one that gives you a uh, crit rate, 3% crit rate uh, on, your, uh, on your chest. Uh, it is expensive, but it's precious. It's, it is really precious. Then uh, you get cooldown reduction on your pants, on your gloves you can get MP, MP cost reduction, and every single one of these will allow you to improve your normal skills. So, it is quite nice. 
Uh, then you have the regular ones, which uh, for the shoulder I recommend the, the one that is called down reduction. Uh, for the helmet you could go either way, accuracy or I believe it was the H and the other one, I don't know. You can check them on the, on the, on the craft mode. Okay, so those, uh, those stones will help you uh, to get you to where you need to be, okay? So, uh, of course, wings, get them, upgrade them as fast as you can. And then if you have the money or if you have the bound resin, which you can, uh, <coughs> get the get a custom and get uh, wings. Customs will give you 500% HP and 500% attack. And wings will give you 10% movement and, and then cost reduction. So those are also nice. Now, since we know that crit rate, crit damage, cooldown and attack are the most important uh, stats of the mage, I will talk about the other ones. Uh, attack speed is not important because you are doing dot damage or damage over time damage and, and or you're using a slow skill. So it's not really important. Then uh, critical damage is really important uh, but not as much as the other ones. So uh, of course if you start getting a lot of crit rates, uh, I'm sorry, crit, uh, if you start critting a lot of your <laughs> Of your attacks, uh, then crit rate, crit damage will allow you to make those uh, hits uh, do a lot more damage. So of course, it's nice. Then you have true damage, which is uh, there's a translation issue here, uh, but not really needed. Defense penetration is for PvP or for bosses. Uh, HP is not really important. You need to. Uh, you're a squishy guy, nonetheless. Your defense will never be. Uh, that of uh, Dark Lords that can get to 15k uh, so uh, you don't really need to take too much time on that Evasion, it is, uh, it's really important, it's a really important substat <coughs> Why? Because uh, some you can get one shot at, uh, from, I believe, from 65 up every, every card or content will you be one shot at straight away, especially Luba so get a little evasion in there, it's really nice uh, and for PvP it's great. Shield broad great, come on, we don't have a we don't have a shield, we have a book, a spell book. Uh, you can put a soul song that gives you shield broad great, I don't know if it works, but it's not really important. Um, CC time reduction is really important because like I said, you're a squishy guy. If you get stunned, you're, you're done for. Uh, if you if you get uh, uh, a snare mob will beat you up and you will die so uh, this allow you to shorten the the, the crowd control duration uh, stun fear uh, slows and etc so get a little bit on that and damage reduction is just what it is and it's kind of important but not that much cooldown of course we already said it movement speed helps uh, and then you have this little guy which is really uh, something that you when you get to 50 uh, cooldown reduction <clears throat> you will find out that you just spend your skill your mana so fast when you throw your skill especially when you reset it when you get the, the reset from the from your 60 points uh, you will find yourself without mana for so many so many times so get a little MP cost it, it helps okay so that would, that's it about that now skills there you go uh, like I said, you have uh, these uh, basic skills, which are uh, three for each uh, weapon. Okay, you have the staff ones, and you have the magic sword ones. Um, every one of these will allow you to. It's kind of a basic attack, and will allow you to recover mana when you when you use them. So they are important. These ones are. Uh, I recommend that you use shockwave uh, just for the little slow that you have if you're using staff. I do use a staff and look I like to play with it because it gives me the, the clutch time to, to reset my skills and to be able to not be not be touched. Uh, but you can also try these too. Uh, they're not really that great. In fact, I don't really have them leveled. I will do so because I need to. But I recommend to use Shockwave. And then uh, for most of you, uh, the sword uh, skills are always the marching blade. Why? Because it has longer range and it also hits uh, AoE, so uh, it's easier for you to, to get your mana back as well as doing a little damage, okay? These two are kind of okay, but uh, this you need to be really, really close to the mob and uh, you don't want to do that, okay?
okay so go for matching bow then uh, when you uh, start playing and you have you have this Q W E R T uh, skills so you have only five of them and then for the, the left click you have your basic one and you can only you can only choose the ones that you have and here you can put anything that you like okay most people will do fire judge okay because it's a great skill it has great DPS uh, and it's a it's a it does a little AOE. It's really nice, everyone pretty much starts with it. But then you can start playing with the other ones. But for starters, just go for that. Okay? Then you can go maybe with this one, uh, which is uh, the Radiant Shame, where you get the stone, it gets decent. But if you don't have the Soul Stone, it's not really good. Uh, okay? So, next skill. Uh, this one, go for it. Uh, the Radiant Chain. Uh, concentrates the power of lightning into a certain spot. The power, well, I just won't read them to you, but it's kind of okay, uh, but not really that much. Then you have the power slash, which is used uh, mostly. Uh, the cooldown is too high, so most people don't use it. I personally don't. But when you get the soul stone, um, you can do this. Uh, see. You can do this. And it throws this uh, this lash, uh, which is really cool, and when you're moving a lot, especially in PvP, uh, it, it's a good poke, so it's up to you. But still, the cooldown kind of hurts, uh, when you're, you're, you kind of get used to be able to do everything at once, so that's that's what it is. Now this is your main skill. The Fire Curtain is hands down your main DPS skill, it goes a long way with you, you I, I don't think I'll, I'll ever... Uh, unequip it. <laughs> it just uh, it's just too good. You put a trail of flames in the ground and everything uh, gets burned and, and damaged all the time. It has a great cooldown time, so you can uh, pretty much play with it every time. You run a little bit, you put another one, and you can get a continuous flow of damage. Okay, so upgrade it as much as you can. Then you have uh, the cold mother, which is uh, basically a stun. Yeah, it does nice damage, um, so, so it's a really quick skill, you just do that and everything that's in your, that small circle will get stunned. Uh, it's nice, and uh, then you have uh, the full throttle, which is uh, another of your bread and butter skill, is your, is your teleport, okay? Uh, when you get to a uh, good cooldown, as you can see, you will be able to do this really, really fast. And if you go, for example, and want to kill these guys, you enter like this, and then whoop, you're out. And look at the cooldowns. And then you're down again, and you go blood fest, and, uh, and out again, and then start them again. They reset their aggro, go in again, and do your blood fest. Okay, so it's a great skill. Do not focus on damage on it. Focus on the utility of it. It's not a skill meant for doing damage. It's a skill meant for survivability. Okay. So uh, in my case, uh, I'm doing stealth duration, cooldown, and MPS. Okay. Even though I do have better better seals for it, uh, <clears throat> and I do have many of them, uh, I I find that this uh, helps me the most. Uh, I'll go a little back uh, for a fire curtain, go for attack, critical damage, critical rate. You need to remember that the skill crests, uh, they do not count when you when you have these uh, caps, this uh, crit cap, the cooldown cap. These ones, uh, the, the skill crests uh, ignore them or they go on top of them. So it is possible to get a little bit more that clutch second to do another blood crest. So it is great. Um, so. Utility, uh, go for utility on this one, on Polar Murder, go for utility on Full Throttle. Okay, the other ones just go damage. If you're finding yourself that you are not uh, are out of mana all the time, fix it through equipment, not through, not through your damage. But if you have to, put a, put an MP cost uh, soul stone, uh, skill crest on it. will help you. Okay? This one. Okay? Okay. Next one, um, this is the Reaper Slide. It's a, it's a continuous uh, a charge skill that will allow you to do quite a bit of damage. If you are in a good group and you have a good tank, 
uh, then I do recommend it. It is a great skill for farming. Uh, you just put it there, and like you said, like it goes, it charges up and it goes insane damage. It pierces through everything. It's a great skill, especially for doing. I don't know. I use it a lot on, on the dailies and and drift because you can uh, pretty much uh, you can just go and slightly tap it and you will get the damage uh, in there okay for example if you go here um, shit, uh, there's no mouth here but but this little animation it already does damage so you can just go running and for example if you're luring you just go and slightly tap it and you will break everything as you run so it's a great skill um, but but you need to be uh, you need to be still so you can charge it up if you're doing serious damage, you need to be still. So, great combination is uh, to do the hallucinatory infection to get the MP back, and then uh, everything that dies will get you back your mana and you will be able to, not infinitely, but uh, get a great DPS that way. But you will be, uh, you won't be able to move. So, it takes a little skill, it takes a little time to, to practice, uh, and of course, go for damage. Okay? Then, we have the Spectre Shield. The Spectre Shield is a skill that you won't use much until you are in late game. Uh, I find that the Spectre Shield gives you flexibility on your builds because when you put the, the Soul Stone on it, the, 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 the expensive one, you will be able to get uh, this uh, crit rate. If you can read it right there, it says hello also increases critical rate by 10% for 10 seconds. That is not there for you when you start. You have to put a soul stone on it. Uh, and I use it because Lupa is a really hard place. It's a harsh place. If you get one shot all day, uh, if you get minions with wave, you pretty much die in the spot. Uh, but the cool thing about this is it absorbs quite a bit of damage. Uh, I did put some limitation press that would give you, it would allow you to absorb more damage. It originally uh, absorbs 20%. Uh, but if you go with this one, you get a little more. And when uh, when it breaks, uh, it will it will shatter and it will push back everyone. So it's a great thing to do. Uh, of course, it's not for simple content. This is when you get harder content, especially solo content. This one this one helps a lot. And I like this flexibility that gives me because I could even uh, probably take one. Uh, let's see, we have four point eight two. Let's take it out. If I take it out and I do. That's pretty good. Let me try. Let's take out this. I have 23. If I use it, I'll still be at 30. So I could, I could maybe have another set that will allow me to put evasion or, or crit, crit damage or something else that could make my character stronger for a specific scenario. Okay, that might be Luma, for example, or an epic if you want to solve it, or broadcasting. Adam, the tower so uh, it's a great skill uh, but it's not really something that you would be looking for when you're starting or even in mid -game. when you start soloing you'll see that it's a great thing to do um, okay blood fest this is uh, the other one that is uh, your uh, bread and butter skill like uh, like I was showing you uh, you go in with all your damage uh, I'm sorry I kind of teleported you go in with your damage then you blood fest teleport out and uh, then as you can see when you when you pull down when the cooldowns allow it you'll be able to do insane damage and not be in touch uh, because every time that you get there you just go again get in get out uh, so it's a it's a great skill it, it also hits for AoE so it's great and uh, the other thing that I can tell you is that the invulnerability lasts longer than the, than the animation so it, it is a lightsaber it's great um, get MP, MP cost it, and in my case I was getting a little frustrated uh, by not being able to use it when I was doing especially when I was using the ray uh, so I will evaluate if I will keep the MP cost press there but get the cooldown one uh, I still haven't got it for. I think it's I'm sorry it doesn't exist but that small cooldown helps out Okay, and then go create ray damage, whatever you Okay, so again, you go in, put everything in the ground, 
game vulnerability, get out, and as you can see, you can already be slowing people and going again. If you want to add more DPS to it, you could go like this, and you go fire curtain, infection, put the other one there, get in, get out. And then you already have three skills to keep slowing them. And that's why the staff is good, because on top of that, you will be putting a slow on this. And when you do that, you uh, you will also uh, you will get a little more slow uh, on the mobs. And the other thing that is great is that it's AOE, so that's why staffs are cool. And you can also get the debuff duration to the time. Okay, so staffs are not really a problem uh, if you uh, add up the the crit rate that you can get from sword and remote is the same. So if, for example, we let you take away to my Staff, which I, I I was trying to get it up, but it failed me. Uh, but if you if you add the add the stats, they are the same. Uh, the, 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 even the CC time will actually. But the the cool thing about the other one is that you can get you get two secondary ones, and you can also get two imprints on it. Because it, that's why they, that's why people use them. But for utility, I do like the stuff quite a bit, and I believe that it, when harder content is released. Or if you want to go crazy, do things on your own, try to be here, um, it will be nice. Okay, so next one uh, will be the Binding Blizzard. Uh, it's an AoE skill that will slow everyone in it and damage. So it's a great skill. Low crit rate, attack, critical damage. Like I said, go in, blah, 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 blah. Do in, boom, you get out. All day, all day. Uh, it, once you master it, it it's hard to, be, to get touched. Uh, it, and then you will start like going really thin on your cooldowns and, and how to do it, and then you will get it going. And that will allow you to... Uh, the War Mage is one of the classes that can do Luba uh, at the 100th level. It can do it faster or even... Uh, or more than faster, it can do it earlier than any other class. Uh, because it doesn't rely that much on equipment. A whisper can do it faster, but it really needs a lot of equipment. I'm great at it for level. Uh, but the war mage can be a, a skill war mage is, is really something to to be looking for in your guild. So uh, go for it. Uh, then you have this one, which is a cool touch. Uh, it's just it's a skill that pushes back everyone and and slows them, etc. Uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, I, there is I saw a crazy build. Using tenacity with it and, and the shield and everything, but well, it depends. It also can can make you move faster if you kind of master it, but it's not really a great skill to do to use right now. <clears throat> then you have the mana racer, which is a huge orb that you show that you throw at, the, at people. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but it's a slow thing, and it hits. Yeah, I wish it hits more. It hit it for more damage, but it doesn't. So, meh. Um, then you have the Dance Macab, which is another great uh, utility skill. Okay, you can go like this all day. And uh, especially in dungeons or when you're, doing, uh, when you're rushing the goblin, uh, it's priceless. You just go there and go. Okay. Uh, it, it, it teleports you to a spot uh, and you hit everyone that is in, the, in, the, in that spot. But if you press it again, you have two seconds. As you can see, I leave a shadow. If I press it again, I will go back. So you can go, you can do fun stuff with it. You can go like this, and then go all the way back, etc. It kind of get, gets bugged sometimes, uh, but it's great to when you want to take her, just, for example, you left a jewel of bless just to hurt it. And you don't want to be slow, you just go, whoop. And you go back. I'm sorry, I, I hit the, I hit the, the blast first, but I, I meant that like this, and then you go back. So it's a great skill. It also it gives you penetration when you are, when you are, uh, when you have the soul stone. It will give you uh, defense penetration by 50%, which is great. Okay, uh, it's a nice skill. Sorry. Of course, it's an utility skill. So uh, especially, and you treat it the same as cold murder. For Faru, uh, just go for uh, pull down and everything. Else. And then, last but not least, the Hallucinatory Infection. 
This is also a good better butter for damage. It hits so hard and it can crit really, really hard. Uh, so it also, uh, what, what's not noticeable on it is that it's cheap. It is really cheap. The MP cost is almost non-existent. Uh, so it allows you, for example, if you're using the, the Reaper Slide, you, for example, this were mob and they were coming to you, you put it on the ground and then you go like this. And every every mob that dies on it will give you 25% MP back. So you won't ever stop using your ray at full stage. Okay? So it's one of the examples, but of course you can uh, always do a little, little trick and just... Uh, it's just a great overall skill. Uh, try to try to look for this uh, skill crest, okay? especially time, because it would allow you to be on stealth for for a little bit more. Two times close to the good again, and then you go create a or attack whatever you want. You can even go and pick us, but it's not it's not important. It's, it's really cheap, okay? Um, <clears throat> after that, you have the the expert skills, uh, which are not that used on this game but what good cool about them is that they have this uh they have this uh, passive with them that will help you for example the invincibility card will allow you to get a glacier glacier prison uh, which is basically an invulnerability that blows up when, when it ends and it hits really hard really really hard uh, but it will also give you this buff it will give you that every Every 10th skill in face edition of chapter 20. This is not great, but this skill is. Uh, uh, for PvP, it's really, really nice. You can do some fun stuff with it because it gives you time to think and to know what you want to do uh, when you're PvP. Uh, then you have. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then you have. Uh, let's see. Uh, the confusion card will allow you to have this passive, which is. Uh, also a good one, it decreases defense by 20%. If you are using a, if you're using a, a, a sword, it will it will stack with the other one. And uh, as a skill, it will it will summon a shitload of ghosts, the ghosts that hit everything. Great for farming as well. Uh, then you have um, let's see this one. Wallop will give you the passive of 10% uh, max HP and defense by five. But the skill is really, really good. It, it it hits like a truck, especially if they are below the 50% threshold. And when you uh, when you get the stone, boy, that hits really, really hard. And after that, you have this one, which is devastation. Uh, if you're, and this is also a good way to go when you're starting and you you haven't reached that 50% cap yet. This is a this is a way to do it. You get an additional five percent crit reduction, so it's great. And this one is uh, just a huge uh, AOE damage that will. Uh, it's not AOE. It's it, it, oh, I'm sorry. It is AOE. It hits really hard and it freezes more. So it's it's nice. Uh, <clears throat> then you have the meteor, uh, which is a huge ball, and people get pissed at you because you kind of spread the mouse around, but they, it hits really really hard. And you can improve it uh, some other ways. Uh, but the passive is also great. It will allow you to uh, decrease the cost of your kills, so of your skills for by 10%. Okay, so I believe that's it. Ah, this one. Uh, pain will give you uh, the mana discharge, which are three small balls uh, that float around you and do pretty decent damage. It's, uh, it's a nice thing. Uh, but the passive is great. It, it will increase your weapon attack by 3% for every enemy within 6 meters. So if you're with the sword, it's a great thing. Up to next. Okay? So you can play around with them, but uh, for when you start, I recommend that you get... Uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing it. The, the one with the with the cooldown. Uh, because I already have several ways to, to get there. But I did struggle at the beginning uh, in order for me to get there. So, it's a good idea when you, when you get your skills to get this one, okay? Uh, about skills, uh, then you have, uh, uh, we will go back to equipment, which is set equipment. I, I already told you that these uh, soul stones will allow you to uh, get some skills, I'm, I'm sorry, this one for example, will allow you that some skills that 
they will improve them. For example, these Spectre Shields will give you 10% crit rate. Um, this one, for example, improves the power slash. From these three small balls to one slash. Uh, this one will allow the Radiant Shield to hit a lot, a lot harder. And, and they also change uh, the sound changes and the graphic uh, changes when you're, when you're using it. So that's one way to do it. And then you have a second way to do it to improve your skills, uh, which is set equipment. Okay? The mage has four uh, set equipments the Blessing Sapientia, uh, the Mana, the Transcendence Star, uh, the other one is the Raging Fabris, and the other one is the Mana Chaser. Uh, I will. Th there's a problem with this game where you have uh, uh, some uh, a stat. I mean, a, a piece of equipment that has too many stats. This happens, so you can uh, you can't read them. Uh, you can you, sometimes you don't know what you're doing. So I'll kind of show you the ones. Let me just wear something else so I can show them. Let's put this one there. And get some shoes. <coughs> okay. So, for example, uh, if you look at uh, this one, the Mana Chaser, for example, is a set that will give you, uh, that will improve Mana Discharge, Spectre Shield, uh, by a lot as, as, as you progress, you will get more pieces of, of this uh, equipment. Right now, uh, in, in America and Europe, and the best equipment, uh, in, and it will keep like that for a while, is the set equipment because uh, the bonuses are really really great so the mana chases is not one of the best uh, it will allow you when you have two pieces it will allow you to get penetration rate for mana discharge when you activate it then the spectral shield will give you 25 uh, percent critical damage it's not really good then you have the uh, she i'll skip the the ones that, that are great because i want to speak a little more about it the Transcendent Star, which is this one, will allow you to, uh, when you put down the, the huge ball of fire, the Meteor, uh, it will decrease your, all your skills uh, costs for 3 seconds. Then uh, it will improve, uh, when you get the 4 pieces, it will improve Final Notice. The final Notice will keep like a trap when you get the set. And then after that you can, uh, I think the Meteor inflicts 150 additional damage. And it's just stupid, uh, but it's not really the good set to get. The best sets for mage are the Blessing Sapientia and uh, I'm sorry, and the uh, Raging Fabrics. The Blessing Sapientia, uh, you, you only need two pieces of it, and you get the, the you get a great boost to your hallucinatory infection. It will it will decrease it, its cooldown by 20 percent, so it's great. It's really good because that skill is priceless. And then when you get the full set. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, the Spectre Shield will uh, lower it, its uh, its cost and will heal and will hit a lot fa a lot harder. And then when you have the six uh, the six set, uh, it will it, it can make like stupidly high uh, crit crit hits with the with the hallucinatory infection and an additional chance to to reset and use it again. Okay, but then uh, the other one that really works great is the Raging Fabulous. Uh, see if I have one that doesn't have that much text. Mm -hmm. There you go. <coughs> Raging Fabulous will allow you, when well, you have two sets, uh, two pieces of the set, will allow you to decrease the problem of blood test, which is another of the red and butter skills. Like we already said, the, the little dance that you make, you make it faster. That's why I am also, I am always using, I'm sorry, this one. And this one, because I really rely a lot on blood tests. Okay, so if you go, for example, let's check the cooldown of it. Okay, so if I do it, it starts. It starts at eight seconds. And if I don't have it, ten seconds. So those two seconds are priceless because when you are. Uh, when you're at the heat of battle of Lupa, for example, and you are trying to get away, and you need to go back, uh, it is, uh, it is, it really does make a difference. Okay, so aim for your Raging Fabrics, and for the, uh, 
that's the name of the one, uh, places a bitch. Okay? So that's the other way that you can improve your skills. Um, skill Chris, uh, go for them. They really, they not only increase your CP, but they will all, they will also allow you to uh, to hit harder to by, bypass the cap, the cap of, for example, the cooldown cap. Okay. So there you go. Uh, then we go to the artifacts. Artifacts are with the letter X, not with the U. Uh, they are another way for you to improve your DPS. The two most important ones that you should be aiming as a war mage are Frenzy and Hysteria. Okay, Frenzy will uh, it's it, it makes you a better farmer. It makes you a better DPS. Uh, uh, you get this. I don't I don't I don't remember what percentage of uh, of uh, movement speeds. That, that will give you when you get the 10 stack, you will start moving faster, and that helps a lot, especially with rifts, luring, yeah, stuff that is not that fun, or when you are rushing uh, the dailies uh, or farming uh, the, the mythic dungeons. Uh, and uh, of course, you need to uh, know about the damage, damage will, will go up like, like stupidly high. So, uh, raise it now. When you, when you start with Frenzy, uh, you need to be able to uh, first get it to level 20. And when you get to level 20, you get this buff that I'm talking about. I will, uh, let me get out of this town to show you. Uh, of course, I came here. There you go. Uh, I won't be able to, to do it here because I won't get, uh, since this mob uh, died uh, really fast, I won't be able to get the 10 skills. So let me see if I can maybe Mob a little bit and give it 10 hits. Okay, so there you go. 10 hits. Look at as you can see, my damage goes up and then it goes down because the stacks are going down. Okay, so if I do this again, like that, you can see that. Oh, sorry, you can see that the damage will be every hit that you that you that you put in the mobs will uh, increase your DPS. And when you get the 10th one, it, it, you will get the speed ones. Okay? So, there you go. There you go. 4, 2, 60, 8, 5. And the speed it goes to 775. And when it ends, of course, it will be, let's just wait until it does, 680. Okay? So, Frenzy. Go for Frenzy all the way. Some people will tell you that Rainbow is cool, that. Uh, and of course, do not do this one because that one is just for learning, okay? Uh, so go for it. After you go for it, and you will be able to solo stuff uh, faster and better, you need to uh, go for Hysteria. Now, going back to uh, going back to uh, to the, the explanation of Frenzy, uh, that's the truth. When you, uh, you get this buff at level 20, then when you get it to 60, you start noticing a, a huge spike in DPS. Then when you get it to 80, then it starts being fun and you start kind of raping content. And when you get it to 90, 92, 95, then you kind of become like a mage that is respected, you know? So uh, it is hard to, to, get it up, to get it up, but it's definitely worth it, okay? After you do that, you will be doing hysteria. Hysteria it requires it, it, it lowers your attack in exchange for a crit damage. And of course, the higher it goes, the more damage that it gives you, the more crit damage. But here's the thing, and this is the most the, the most common error that I've seen on the on players that that, that rise in hysteria. They just focus on critical damage, so they start putting critical damage on their equipment, having hysteria. And the problem is that they are not having enough attack to make it effective. Okay, so Hysteria, uh, of course, you need to have a crit rate. But if you don't have enough damage, the calculations, they, they kind of stay on the ground. When you have good damage, uh, then you, you start noticing. Look at, look at my DPS drop, I mean my attack drop when I, when I equip it. It goes all the way down. But look at the crit rate. Okay, so if you have this ready you need to be able to get a good uh, 
a, a nice amount of attack, or either other way, it won't uh, it won't help you. you. You will not be able to. I mean, you will have fun like getting these stupid crits <laughs> on mom or maybe people, but uh, it is not effective. Okay. So start with frenzy. Frenzy will make you uh, a better, uh, an overall better, better player. And then after that, when you get the equipment and you get your enchantments up and everything that you need, then you can go, you can go for high steel. After that, there are some other, uh, some other builds. Like I was saying, uh, tenacity. I've seen a fun, uh, a fun build. Uh, that, that uses every single skill uh, to improve uh, their own damage, but it's just playing around. And I do uh, level uh, Sunrise for support reasons when I was uh, leveling a little bit. Uh, but like I said, Frenzy, Hysteria, just uh, you have a lot of work getting those two apps. Uh, there is some people get the Frozen Heart uh, because it gives you uh, it gives you a little more. Uh, which is nice. You can you can do that too. If you get some, uh, I believe it uh, it takes your HP recovery. So you just grab a lot of potions. So that's another way to go. Rainbow helps a lot too. But like I said, don't waste time. Just go for friends. Okay. Okay. So um, now we have. I think we have everything covered. Um, if you have questions. Uh, and everything. This is the first try that I make on a on a guy. Uh, so it is only for war mages because I am a war mage. Uh, it would be stupid for me to make one on the bladers because I don't have a blade. I do know about it, but I, I don't feel confident enough to, to show you everything that you can do with it. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave them, uh, drop them on the in the comments. Uh, I probably uh, forgot a lot of things. Uh, because I, I am trying to, to not make this really long because we are already at shit we've been doing, we've been here for a while so if you have questions leave them on the on the on the comment box if you like this video please uh, share it like it and if you like the channel please subscribe because I'll be more than grateful to you I'll be seeing you soon bye.